the pharmaceutical industry in India is the world's third largest in terms of volume. According to Department of Pharmaceuticals the total turnover of India's pharmaceuticals industry between 2008 and 2009 was 21.04 billion US dollars. India is one of the fastest growing pharmaceutical markets in the world and has established itself as a global manufacturing and research hub. A large raw material base and the availability of a skilled workforce gives the industry a definite competitive advantage. India is today one of the top emerging markets in the global pharmaceutical scene. The sector is highly knowledge-based and its steady growth is positively affecting the Indian economy. The organized nature of the Indian pharmaceutical industry is attracting several companies that are finding it viable to increase their operations in the country. In 2013, there were 4,655 pharmaceutical manufacturing plants in all of India, employing over 345,000 people. The Government of India started to encourage the growth of drug manufacturing by Indian companies in the early 1960s and with the Patents Act in 1970. However, economic liberalization in 1990s enabled the industry to flourish. Indian companies carved a niche in both the Indian and world markets with their expertise in engineering new processes for manufacturing drugs at low costs. Although some of the larger companies have taken small steps towards drug research and innovation, the industry as a whole has been following this business model until the present. The Indian pharmaceutical industry was estimated to be worth 23 billion US dollars in 2010 and is expected to touch 55 billion US dollars by 2016. Globally, India ranks third in terms of volume of production and 14th largest by value. The domestic market is likely to grow from 13 billion US dollars in 2010 to 25 billion US dollars by 2017. The domestic pharma sector is witnessing strong growth due to higher penetration in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities and greater focus on the largely untapped rural market. The major factors responsible for this growth are increasing sales of generic medicines, continued growth in chronic therapies and greater penetration in rural markets. India exports to more than 200 countries. Its share of exports is expected to grow incrementally. Pharmaceutical exports grew from 8.6 billion US dollars in 2008 to 14.5 billion US dollars in 2012 at a rate of 13.8%. The US is India's largest importer. The exports to the US grew at a rate of around 24% between 2006 and 2010. The export of bulk drugs continued to grow to regulated markets and is supported by India's existing foothold in semi-regulated market. India currently exports drug intermediates, active pharmaceutical ingredients, finished dosage formulations biopharmaceuticals, and clinical services across the globe. The exports of pharmaceuticals from India grew to 14.6 billion US dollars in 2012 from 6.23 billion US dollars in 2006, registering a compound annual growth rate of around 15.2%. India with almost 200 US FDA drug manufacturing facilities, is the biggest foreign supplier of medicines to the United States. Exports to the US rose nearly 32% last year to 4.23 billion US dollars. India accounts for nearly 40% of generic drugs and over-the-counter products and 10% of finished dosages used in the US.
generic drugs have a dominant position in the rapidly expanding Indian drug industry. India's exports of generic drugs have been growing at a rate of 24% over the past four years. In the period 2002 to 2012, the country's healthcare sector grew three times in size, touching 70 billion US dollars from 23 billion US dollars. India's pharmaceutical market experienced a similar boom, reaching 18 billion US dollars in 2012. Indian pharmaceutical market is poised to be the sixth largest in the world by 2020. The rise of pharmaceutical outsourcing and investments by multinational companies, allied with the growing economy, committed health insurance segment and improved healthcare, is expected to drive the market's growth. The top 10 publicly listed pharma companies in India by market capitalization as of 2015 are Sun Pharmaceutical, Lupin Pharmaceuticals, Dr. Reddy's Labs, Cipla, Aurobindo Pharmaceutical, Cadella Healthcare, Glenmark Pharmaceuticals, Divis Labs and Torrent Pharmaceuticals. The cumulative drugs and pharmaceuticals sector has attracted foreign direct investments worth $11 billion in the period 2000 through 2013. The Government of India has allowed 100% FDI through automatic approval route in the new pharma projects but the foreign investment in the existing pharma companies needs approval from Foreign Investment Promotion Board. The Government of India has made tax breaks available to the pharma sector and a weighted tax deduction of 150% for any R&D expenditure incurred. It has also introduced 19 dedicated special economic zones to help stimulate pharma sector investment across the country. The Department of Pharmaceuticals has projected an investment of $489.19 million to set up 10 more National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research over the next few years. Even after the increased investment, market leaders such as Rainbaxi and Dr. Reddy's laboratory spent only 5 to 10 percent of their revenues on R&D, lagging behind Western pharmaceuticals like Pfizer, whose research budget last year was greater than the combined revenues of the entire Indian pharmaceutical industry. This disparity is too great to be explained by cost differentials, and it comes when advances in genomics have made research equipment more expensive than ever. The drug discovery process is further hindered by a dearth of qualified molecular biologists. Due to the disconnect between curriculum and industry, pharma in India also lack the academic collaboration that is crucial to drug development in the West so far. The Indian pharma industry is on a good growth path and is likely to be in the top 10 global markets in value terms by 2020, according to the Price Water Cooper report. High burden of disease, good economic growth leading to higher disposable incomes, improvements in healthcare infrastructure and improved healthcare financing are driving growth in the domestic market, the report highlighted. The small and medium enterprises are expected to play a significant role in the growth story of the country's pharma sector as they contribute 35 to 40 percent to the industry in terms of production, 